Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of 2 Chronicles, chapter 20. Now it came about after this that the sons of Moab and the sons of Ammon, together with some of the Meonites, came to make war against Jehoshaphat. Then some came and reported to Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea, from Aram, and behold, they are in Hazazon Tamar, that is, En Gedi. Jehoshaphat was afraid and turned his attention to seek the Lord, and he proclaimed a period of fasting throughout Judah. So Judah gathered together to seek help from the Lord. They even came from all the cities of Judah to seek the Lord. What does it take for the Lord to get your attention? In times of great crisis, fear, tragedy, or sickness, do your eyes and thoughts lift heavenward to seek God's help and wisdom? Christ followers who already have a habit of seeking the Lord's direction know how to respond when emergencies arise. That's what we see in King Jehoshaphat's reign. The Lord was with him because he followed the example of King David by obeying and seeking to honor God. So when a dangerous situation arose, Jehoshaphat's first response was to fast and pray for the Lord's help. If you're a believer, is seeking the Lord's will the habit of your life? Or does he have to use harsher means to get your attention? Through the scriptures, he instructs and teaches us the way we should go, as long as we're paying attention. But if we're stubborn, like the horse or like the mule, referred to in Psalm 32, verses 8 and 9, God's ways of reaching us may be more painful. The Lord has much to say and wants us to train ourselves to stay attuned to Him. Don't let the busyness and distractions of life keep you from connecting with Him every day through His Word and prayer. <music> 